Hi guys, watch me paint this portrait and hear my thoughts and get some tips. This was my sixth entry for Ahmed al Duri's Fantasy Heads Challenge. And I started out just basically thinking about proportions and adding uh, general light and dark shapes. But mainly I was thinking about angles and proportions. So how much of an angle are her eyes, for instance? Her eyes are like, for if you look at a flat line, it's like 30 degrees up. So her eyes are on that 30 degree angle. And then so is her nose and her mouth and her chin. That's an important, important uh, origin um, angle to get. It, but if you want to change it, you you know you could change it completely. But just don't do it by mistake because we tend to um, flatten these angles out when we're drawing. So make sure that you're aware of that. Um, so here I'm trying a lot of different colors for her shoulder blade because it's the one of the lightest uh, tones on this entire painting so you can see I tried blue and then I went with a gold golden orange color and the golden orange I kept is because uh, I want it to be uh, harmonious with the golden color that I'm going to put for her eyepiece and her mask and if you also notice from this um, I changed a few things from the reference one of the things you can see is I'm adding all these colors when the reference is basically black and white. Um, also, I changed a few other things. I elongated her neck to give her more of a graceful feature. I've done that with all the other uh, Ahmed al Duri heads for this challenge. Um, I just like that. It's uh, very interesting at, at the moment for me to do that. and. Uh, the main thing is I'm also squinting and you guys have heard that a lot likely you should squint at the reference and then squint at what you're painting and the shapes of light and dark should match unless of course you're changing things so uh, to create another focal point or something like that you you always have free reign to change anything that you want I could um, totally change this person's um, uh, angle that we're looking at it could be full like looking up at them you, and then you change everything and um, it would just depend on my comfort with perspective and uh, facial features and the time I'm willing to spend uh, and being able to ch uh, rotate that uh, in 3d space uh, imagine it first and then use guidelines and stuff but you could literally change anything you want and it's great you should when you're drawing from reference change things and try to challenge yourself so my main challenge here was basically adding colors and also going down the rendering rabbit hole because when I first looked at this it's a little bit intimidating looking at all the beadwork and the metals and different materials and um, of course painting um, uh, attractive women is always challenging because it's not like drawing a grizzly uh, male or older person, older male. You can get away with a lot. But with the female, if you make the hairline a little too high, like I mentioned before, I did that actually when I was doing a caricature. <laughs> it was very funny. I drew a family and then the wife, I just made her hairline higher and she. everyone was smiling except for her when I showed them. Anyways, yeah, that's um, bad experiences that you end up learning from. Um, here I also added like purples on her lips and then I added some purple like blush on her cheek and that was for color harmony as well and this is where I'm just adding highlights to the beads and I, I made a copper tone for that metal object on her forehead and that also would fit the color harmony of the subject of the model so anything I'm choosing, any colors or thoughts I have is to make things work together. So there's gold on her nose, on her uh, lip, on her shoulder, on uh, other parts of her skin, and then there's gold in her eyepiece. This is like um, all, all intentional just to make things consistent. Okay, well I hope you guys really enjoyed this. If you did, please follow me on YouTube and Instagram at Jamtron Art 
Thank you for watching. Have a great day and peace.